best way or the only way to experience life is to be comfortable with death. Fogo Adler's understand that. The only way to experience any sense of control is to let go. And so it's this lovely ability to live in the seeming contradiction. I would like to think that every person who comes to Fogo Island has an experience that is essentializing, let's say, that they feel reawakened in themselves somehow, or given back to themselves. It's not a place you come if you want to be indulging yourself in material things. I think it's a place that you will come if you want to actually strip away some of the material things to get to some of the essential things that are hard to get to in your everyday life. I think it's got this lovely quality of being able to disorient you, to kind of help you reorient in a way that's more part of the natural world. We built the inn to help make a contribution to cultural and economic resilience for Fogo Island. It seemed in thinking about where we've come from and thinking about what we have as an island to offer, an inn seemed like the most logical way to achieve both. And if you're going to build an inn, well then you need beds to lie in and quilts to lie under and chairs to sit on and food to eat. But well, all of these things were opportunities to put bits of ourselves and, and bits of what we know into each and every one of these things. And in there's an opportunity to knit together a whole bunch of things that might have otherwise been lost. The quality of our everyday life isn't so much impacted by some big idea of something you believe in. It's these tiny little details and nuances of maybe somebody wasn't as gentle as they could have been in some gesture. Or some little detail of something that could have been beautiful that is actually mediocre makes you sad. And so what we try to do is not miss any opportunities to put joy in the details put love in the details, and most importantly, to put Fogo Island in the details. The paradox, and it is a paradox, is who you are as a person. You don't discover that sitting in a room all by yourself. You discover that in relationship, in relationship to nature, in relationship to the other. And so we try to be thoughtful about that. And hopefully, and I think I see this in the people who come here, when they leave, they have a different perspective on relationships, not just with each other, but with anything. In a time that we are a little bit confused as human beings about our relationship to the planet, our relationship to the past, our relationship to the future, I think Fogo Island is a really great place to experience that on a smaller scale that's more approachable. It's a place to reconnect with the most important things, the natural, and from that, yourself.